energy users, big energy customers, what are their big issues right now? I guess um, understanding the marketplace, which is fluctuating um, daily, weekly and monthly. I think depending on whether they're a small to medium enterprise or whether they're a large end user, their, their issues and concerns are different. Small to medium enterprises, that's understanding where to buy their energy from, how often to buy their energy, whether they change suppliers or keep it constant. Looking at the granularity of data that they've got with regards to their energy usage. I guess from a, a, a larger end user and more prominently the companies that are listed on the stock exchange, they've got the obvious concern around mandatory carbon reporting which came in on the 6th of April. So it's the consolidation of all of the big data as it's known. Uh, whether you're a small to medium enterprise or whether you are a large conglomerate. Just to pick up then on the big data, it's a big phrase, and what does it mean and how do you deal with it? Okay, from a big data point of view, um, we're finding more and more end users have, have disparate means of collecting all of their energy information. It is either on, uh, on Excel spreadsheets, it's on Word documents, it's in existing databases from legacy building management systems. It's on pieces of paper, and then it's different people's responsibilities to collect that data and to bring it all together. So there's a, there's a huge volume of data across varying sites. There's a huge variety of data from varying sites. And, and the, the, it is our belief that we should look to consolidate that into more of an information system. Where do you see businesses going? What are the big uh, CSR trends? What we're seeing is there's, there's a little piece of clarity on their websites and on their communications and obviously in their annual reports with regards to CSR or CSR squared. So CSR squared would be corporate and social responsibility but also carbon and sustainability reporting. So they're making bold statements at times which is pleasing. However, what we're starting to see is that there's no true strategy, vision or clarity in their actions to get to their goals. So a statement of we will reduce our energy by 20% by 2014 or we will reduce our carbon footprint by 20% by 2015 is a fantastic statement to make to the marketplace. However, when we start to dig a little deeper, we don't truly see clarity in the actions to help them move forward, which is why at Schneider Electric we have a clear engagement process to, uh, to work with those end users to enable them to put solid actions in place to achieve their own goals and aspirations.